Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe. Pasteki. These are savory pastries filled with various ingredients such as meat, cheese, chicken, or seafood. Pasteki is similar to empanadas but with a distinct Aruban twist. Pasteki is a popular snack in Aruba, often enjoyed as a quick and savory treat. These delicious pastries are similar to empanadas but with a distinct Aruban twist. Pasteki is made by folding and filling a flaky pastry dough with various ingredients such as meat, cheese, chicken, or seafood. Here's a basic recipe for making traditional Aruban pasteki. Ingredients. For the dough. 3 cups all-purpose flour. 1 teaspoon salt. 1 cup cold unsalted butter, cut into small cubes. 1 half cup cold water. For the filling. 1 pound ground beef, or meat of your choice. 1 onion, finely chopped. 1 bell pepper, finely chopped. 2 cloves garlic, minced. 1 teaspoon ground cumin. 1 teaspoon paprika. Salt and black pepper, to taste. Vegetable oil, for frying. Instructions. For the dough. In a large mixing bowl, combine the flour and salt. Add the cold, cubed butter and use your fingers or a pastry cutter to work it into the flour until the mixture resembles coarse crumbs. Gradually add the cold water, mixing until a dough forms. Be careful not to overwork the dough. It should come together without being too sticky. Shape the dough into a ball, wrap it in plastic wrap, and refrigerate it for at least 30 minutes while you prepare the filling. For the filling, in a skillet, heat some vegetable oil over medium heat. Add the chopped onions and bell peppers, and saute until they become soft and translucent. Add the ground beef, or meat of your choice, to the skillet and cook until it's browned and cooked through. Drain any excess fat. Stir in the minced garlic, ground cumin, paprika, salt, and black pepper. Cook for a few minutes to allow the flavors to meld. Taste and adjust the seasoning if needed. Remove from heat and let the filling cool. Boyo. Boyo is a sweet snack made from cornmeal, sugar, and spices, formed into a ball and fried to a crispy golden brown. It's a delightful treat to satisfy your sweet tooth. Boyo is a traditional Caribbean snack and the preparation and ingredients can vary from one region to another. It is often made with root vegetables, such as sweet potatoes or yams, combined with sugar and spices. The mixture is shaped into a ball or patty, then deep-fried until golden brown and crispy. Boyo can be sweet or savory, and it's a popular snack in many Caribbean countries. Here's a basic recipe for sweet boyo. Ingredients. 2 cups grated sweet potatoes or yams. 1 half cup sugar, adjust to taste. 1 half teaspoon ground cinnamon. 1 quarter teaspoon ground nutmeg. 1 quarter teaspoon salt. Vegetable oil, for frying. Instructions. Prepare the sweet potatoes or yams. Peel and grate the sweet potatoes or yams using a box grater. You can also use a food processor with a grating attachment. Combine ingredients. In a mixing bowl, combine the grated sweet potatoes or yams, sugar, ground cinnamon, ground nutmeg, and salt. Adjust the amount of sugar to your desired level of sweetness. Shape the boyo. Take a handful of the mixture and shape it into a ball or patty. You can make them as large or small as you prefer. Heat the oil. In a deep pan or fryer, heat vegetable oil to around 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius. Fry the boyo. Carefully place the shaped boyo into the hot oil. Fry them in batches to avoid overcrowding the pan. Fry until they are golden brown and crispy, usually about 3 to 4 minutes per side. Drain and serve. Use a slotted spoon to remove the fried boyo from the oil and place them on paper towels to drain any excess oil. Serve hot. Serve the sweet boyo while they are still warm. They can be enjoyed as a sweet and crispy snack or dessert. Note that boyo can also be made with other ingredients like cassava or green bananas for a different flavor and texture. Some variations of boyo are savory and may include ingredients like salted fish or seasonings. It's a versatile snack enjoyed in various forms throughout the Caribbean. Pan batty. Pan batty, or fried bread, is a type of pancake made with cornmeal, flour, and yeast. It's fluffy and slightly sweet and is often served with stews and meats. Pan batty, also known as fried bread, or Aruban pancakes, is a traditional dish from Aruba and other Caribbean islands. It's a simple and versatile dish made from a mixture of cornmeal and flour, resulting in a fluffy and slightly sweet pancake. 
Pan batty is often served as a side dish with stews, meats, or other savory dishes. Here's how to make pan batty. Ingredients. 1 cup cornmeal. 1 cup all-purpose flour. 2 teaspoons baking powder. 2 tablespoons sugar, adjust to taste. 1 half teaspoon salt. 1 and a half cups water, approximately. Vegetable oil, for frying. Instructions. Combine dry ingredients. In a mixing bowl, combine the cornmeal, all-purpose flour, baking powder, sugar, and salt. Mix the dry ingredients together until well combined. Add water. Gradually add the water to the dry ingredients, stirring continuously to form a smooth batter. The amount of water needed may vary, so add it slowly until you achieve a pancake batter-like consistency. Let the batter rest. Allow the batter to rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. This resting time helps the mixture hydrate and improves the texture of the pancakes. Preheat a skillet or griddle. Heat a skillet or griddle over medium-high heat and add a small amount of vegetable oil to coat the surface. Cook the pan batty. Pour a ladleful of the batter onto the hot skillet or griddle, creating a round pancake shape. You can make the pancakes as large or small as you prefer. Cook the pan batty until bubbles form on the surface and the edges start to look set, usually about 2 to 3 minutes. Flip and continue cooking. Flip the pancake using a spatula and cook the other side until it's golden brown and cooked through, about 2 to 3 more minutes. Repeat. Continue this process with the remaining batter, adding more oil to the skillet or griddle as needed. Serve hot. Serve the pan batty hot alongside your favorite Caribbean stews, meats, or dishes. They make a great accompaniment and can be used to soak up flavorful sauces. Pan Batty's slightly sweet and fluffy texture makes it a delightful side dish that complements savory dishes beautifully. It's a popular Caribbean staple enjoyed in various forms across the region. Fresh Coconut You'll often see street vendors selling fresh coconuts. They will chop the top off for you to drink the refreshing coconut water and then offer you the coconut meat. Fresh coconut is a tropical delight that's not only refreshing but also versatile in culinary applications. Here's how you can enjoy fresh coconut. 1. Drinking coconut water. The clear liquid inside a young green coconut is known as coconut water. It's a natural electrolyte-rich drink that's both hydrating and delicious. Simply use a straw or pour it into a glass and enjoy. 2. Eating coconut meat. The white flesh inside the coconut is called coconut meat. You can eat it fresh or use it in various dishes. Here's how to extract and enjoy the meat. Use a coconut grater or a knife to remove the coconut meat from the shell. You can eat it as is or add it to smoothies, salads, yogurt, or oatmeal for a tropical twist. Grated coconut can also be toasted to make coconut flakes, which are a popular topping for desserts. 3. Making coconut milk. Blend fresh coconut meat with water and strain to make homemade coconut milk. It's a creamy base for curries, soups, and various recipes. 4. Coconut oil. You can extract coconut oil from fresh coconut meat. It's commonly used in cooking and for various health and beauty purposes. 5. Coconut desserts. Fresh coconut can be used to make delicious desserts like coconut ice cream, coconut macaroons, coconut custard, and coconut cakes. 6. Cooking and baking. Fresh coconut meat can be used in savory dishes like curries, stir-fries, and rice dishes. It adds a creamy texture and a mild, slightly sweet flavor. Grated or shredded coconut can be used in baking recipes like coconut cookies, muffins, and bread. 7. Dried coconut. If you have excess fresh coconut, you can dry it to make desiccated or shredded coconut. This can be stored for longer periods and used in various recipes. 8. Coconut slices. Fresh coconut meat can be sliced into thin strips and used as a garnish for salads, desserts, and savory dishes. When selecting a fresh coconut, Look for one that feels heavy for its size and has a clean, unblemished shell. To open a coconut, you can use a coconut opener or carefully tap around the equator of the coconut with a blunt object until it cracks open. Be cautious when handling the sharp edges. Enjoying fresh coconut is not only delicious but also provides you with the natural goodness of this tropical fruit, which is rich in vitamins, minerals, and healthy fats. Arepa Arepas are small cornmeal cakes that are grilled and often filled with cheese, meat, or beans. They are a tasty and portable snack. Arepa is a traditional and versatile food originating from Colombia and Venezuela, but it is also popular in other Latin American countries. 
It is a type of flatbread made from maize, corn, dough, and it's a staple in the diet of many South American communities. Arepas can be served as a side dish, snack, or even as a main course when filled with various ingredients. Here's how to make basic arepas. Ingredients. 2 cups pre-cooked white or yellow cornmeal, also called masarepa or harina pan. 1 and a half to 2 cups warm water. 1 teaspoon salt, optional. 2 tablespoons vegetable oil, optional, for cooking. Instructions. Mix the dough. In a mixing bowl, combine the pre-cooked cornmeal and salt, if using. Gradually add the warm water, starting with one and a half cups. Mix with a spoon or your hands until a smooth, pliable dough forms. Add more water if needed to achieve the right consistency. The dough should hold together without being too dry or too sticky. Knead the dough. Turn the dough out onto a clean surface and knead it for a few minutes until it becomes smooth and elastic. If it's too dry, add a little more water. If it's too sticky, add a bit more cornmeal. Divide and shape. Divide the dough into equal portions and shape them into balls, about the size of a tennis ball. Flatten and shape the arepas. Place a ball of dough between your palms and gently press it to form a flat, round disc. The thickness can vary based on your preference. Traditionally, arepas are about one-half to three-quarters inch thick. Cook the arepas. Heat a skillet or griddle over medium-high heat and add a little vegetable oil if desired. Place the shaped arepas onto the hot skillet and cook them for about 3 to 4 minutes on each side or until they are golden brown and have a slightly crispy exterior. You can cover them while cooking to ensure they cook through. Serve hot. Serve the arepas immediately while they are hot. They can be enjoyed plain, or you can slice them open and fill them with a variety of ingredients, such as cheese, meats, beans, avocado, or any other fillings you prefer. Arepas are incredibly versatile, and the choice of fillings and toppings is almost endless. In Colombia, they are often split open and filled with cheese, while in Venezuela, they may be served with a wide range of fillings. They are a delicious and satisfying food that can be enjoyed for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or as a snack.